Hey there, Sam. Our goal is to send a welcome email whenever a new user is created. Laravel has classes to take care of email sending. To create a mail class, we can use the PHP Artisan command make mail and supply the class name after it, and I'll call it welcome mail. And now in our app folder, you'll notice that there's a new folder called mail, and our welcome mail class is created inside it. In summary, the purpose of a mail class is to define the email itself. So we put in things like the email template, the email title, what kind of data should the email accept inside the email class. And now if we look inside the file, it is just a class that extends the base mailable class. And there's only one method in it, the build method. And build method is exactly the place where we define how should we create the email. So things that I mentioned just now, like the email title and so on, should be put in here. By default, the build method is returning the result of the view method. The view method is a helper function to return a view template from the view folder. And the view folder is located inside resources views. And Laravel is using the dot notation to access files inside the views folder. Let's create a new folder inside the views folder. And I'll call it mail. From now on, we'll put everything related to mail inside this mail folder. And now let's create a welcome email template in our app. By default, Laravel uses the Blade templating engine. So all the template files we we'll need to end it with .blade.php. I'll go ahead and create a welcome mail blade file. And inside the template, I'll simply put in a h1 in it, just for demonstration. And now back to the welcome mail class. To refer to our newly created blade file, all we need to do is to type in mail.welcomemail. So the dot notation is a simple way for us to provide a reference to a file relative to the views folder. Let's see if our mail class is rendered correctly. To test this, we'll create a dummy web route. So we'll go to our webphp route file and add a get route. I'll call it playground, just because it's a playground for experiment. We only want to enable this route under local development environment. So I'll wrap it within an if statement to make sure our app environment is local. And for the controller function of our route, we'll simply return a new instance of our welcome mail and call the render function on it. The render function will simply build and return the HTML representation of our email. Let's give this a go. We'll go to our browser and visit our playground route. And it works. We see a big fat welcome in our browser. All right, so far so good. Laravel also provides us a way to write our email using Markdown, which is a nice and convenient way to quickly write an email template. So we'll go to our welcome mail blade file and to write our email template in Markdown, We'll start by using Laravel Blade's components directive, which is an add symbol followed by the word component. And the component directive takes in an argument that specifies what components do we want, which in our case here will be mail message. I'll show you a list of all the available components later. But for now, let's see how does this look like when it is rendered in the browser. The component directive provides us a layout to our mail template. We're going to use Markdown from now on. So I'll replace our h1 with its corresponding Markdown syntax which is just a hash key followed by the welcome text, and also provide a simple email signature at the end of the email. And now let's go back to our mail class. And in order for Laravel to be able to pass markdown template, we need to call the markdown method instead of the view method. And now let's go back to our browser, hit refresh, and boom, we see a different world. Isn't that neat? This layout is provided by the mail message component as we put inside our mail template. However, there's one issue here. The email layout is using Laravel's logo and Laravel's company name in the footer. Let's try to change them. We can change the company name in the footer quite easily by changing our app name in the .env file. So if we go to our .env file and change the app name key from Laravel to live post and refresh our browser, we can now see the email template is now white labeled to our own brand. Isn't that easy? If you want a deeper customization to change the styling, the color, and the layout structure of our email template, we can go to our terminal and run PHP Artisan Vendor Publish and select the mail tag. This command will publish all the default assets from Laravel so we can customize them in however way we want. And now you notice that there's a new folder called Vendor appeared in our views folder. And inside it, we can see different types of mail component, which are all fully customizable to fit our application's need. And now I want to show you all the mail components that are available to us. 
Let's go back to our blade file and I'll paste in examples of all the components. So we've got a button component, panel, table, and sub copy. We can pass in a redirect URL to the button in an option array in a second argument. And just for demonstration, I'll put in google.com as the redirect URL. And now let's go back to the browser to take a look at these components. We will refresh the page and boom. However, there's some issue with the table. It is not rendered properly. It turns out that Laravel Blade does not like indentation that much when we write our blade file in Markdown syntax. So let's try to unindent our code so that Laravel can pass our Markdown syntax properly. We'll go back to our browser, hit refresh, and yay, the table is now rendered properly. And if we click on the button, it'll bring us to Google. Great. Now, it would be nice if we can address our user by their name rather than a generic welcome text. To do that, we're going to go back to our email class and make the constructor to accept a user model so that we can pass it to our view. Let's make the user into a class property and to pass data into our view, we simply need to pass a second argument to the markdown function. The second argument will be an array of information that we want to pass to the view. In our case here, we want to pass the username to the view so we can simply grab it from the user property. And now back inside our blade template, we can use the double curly braces followed by the array key as a variable to access the data passed to this view. And now back inside our route, we now need to pass in a user when we instantiate our mail class. So I'll call the user factory to generate a user on the fly. Once we're done, we'll go back to our browser. And now if I hit refresh, we see the username after the welcome text. And every time I refresh, we see a new name because there's a new user generated by the factory. Great. And that's how we can pass data to a view. And now let's learn how we can actually send out an email using Laravel. To do that, we'll need a fake SMTP server for testing purposes. I highly recommend MailTrap.io. It is free for personal use. Once you sign up for an account and log in to the dashboard, you should be able to see this page where you can get the API key to send test emails. To get MailTrap.io to work with Laravel, in the integration dropdown, we'll select Laravel and simply copy and paste the settings here to our .env file. And while we're on here, let's also set the from address to some dummy email account. Once we're done, at this point, we should be able to send out emails from our Laravel app. And now let's try to send out an email. We'll go back to our playground route. And to send an email, we can use the mail facade and call the to method to specify the recipient. I'll store a dummy user as a variable and pass it to the to method. And then we'll call the send method and pass in an instance of our welcome email class to get Laravel to send out the email. We're not quite done yet because we haven't set the subject of our email. Let's go back to our email class. And in a build method, We'll call the subject method in it to define the subject of this email, which I'll just simply write down, welcome to live post. Okay, let's test our code. We'll go back to the browser, visit the playground route again, wait for it to finish processing. Once that's done, we'll go to mailtrap.io and boom, we see a new email arrive in our inbox. And that means our code is working fine. Now, there's one last thing I want to fix before we end the lesson. Currently in our email template, we're hard coding our app name in the email signature. This is not a good thing to do. Let's fix this. We did put our app name in the .env file and Laravel stored this value in one of the config file. And we can get our config value by using the config helper function. And a key to it is app.name. Again, a config function accepts dot notation, which is a reference to a value in Laravel's configuration files. You can find its configuration files in the config folder of our project root. And if we look inside the app file, we can see that there's a property called name that is referencing the app name key in the .env file. So our config helper function here is simply referencing that value. Anyway, let's send our email in our user created event listener so that every time when a user is created, we'll send out this welcome email. So we'll go to our send welcome email event listener and in the handle method, I'll call the mail facade to send out the welcome email. We need to pass a user model in the to method of the mail facade. The event parameter in the handle method will be an instance of the user created event. We do have the user model in the user created event. In other words, we can make this property public and back to our event listener 
we can simply pass our user to the to method and also to the constructor of the welcome mail class. And that is pretty much it. That's how we can send out an email in Laravel. Key takeaway for this lesson, the Laravel mail class offers us an easy way to define and send out application emails. Mailtrap.io is a fake SMTP testing service that allows us to test email in our local environment. So we can safely send out email without the fear of reaching an actual email account. Laravel allows us to write our email template in markdown syntax, which is nice and convenient. We can use the mail facade to send out emails. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.